So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me for this group immersion, this meditation, and thank you for all your words and for how you're arriving and landing in this space. As I say, I always like to give everybody the opportunity to be seen, to be heard and be held. And just in this recognition that we are all just unique expressions of one divine unified consciousness. So, you know, my process is your process, your process is mine. So we can come together in these beautiful containers to hold each other and bring whatever energy that we're bringing to the group and help to heal each other and balance each other out. So always just a lovely opportunity to just welcome any and all emotions that we're feeling because no emotions are bad per se. They are just labels. They're literally just labels for what is going on in our bodies and what perpetuates the suffering around those particular labels. If we want to focus on things like anxiety is really the meaning that we put behind the experience that we're having. So when we think about anxiety, you know, it is the meaning that we're putting around circumstances or experiences that are happening in our lives. So it can be uh, stemming from this idea that things are out of our things, things are out of our control, or at least that they feel outside of our control. So when we're feeling anxious thoughts, what we can do is we can turn to them and, and thank them for being almost like messengers, just informing us that something is awry, you know, that it's not necessarily good or bad, but this is a, a feeling that is arising in our body that is giving us a, a clue that something is out of whack, whether it's out of alignment with, you know, who we are as a person or out of alignment with our lives in general. But anxiety is usually the feeling that we attribute to feeling out of control, to feeling like this is not something we can control. So uh, what we can do in that circumstance is we can make a list of what we feel is going on for us. So we can look at what is causing these anxious thoughts and take a look at um, that list and basically sort of look at it and say to ourselves, well, what is within my control in that list and what is outside of my control? And that's a fairly simplistic way of looking at it, but you know, it's a, a one minute exercise that can help us to identify what is within our grasp, our locus of control or our sphere of influence, like what we can actually take action on. And then the other side of the column, the bits that we can't take control of, you know, we, the work is in accepting that there are certain things that are outside of our control and coming to a point of acceptance about that, you know, so Obviously, that is easier said than done. That's not something that happens overnight. But certainly the awareness of what's going on when we're feeling anxious thoughts is that we just need to attribute that the, the cause of our suffering is that we're attributing meaning to something that's going on. And quite often it is just that we feel out of control of what's going on. So by taking control of what's causing us to feel or label something as um, anxious or out of control, then we can start to empower ourselves to move forward. And, um, and then the other side of the coin, which is sort of what I wanted to make the focus of our meditation today, I've just been inspired by this book that I've been drip, dipping into. It's um, by Yogananda and it's Metaphysical Meditations. And basically the one that I opened up to today, I'm just going to read you what it says. So this is to awaken mental freedom in terms of a metaphysical meditation. So this is this idea about loosening your mind from the consciousness of your body weight relaxing the nerve strings that are attached to the heavy muscles and bones of your body. Forget the consciousness of carrying a heavy bundle of bones tied in the thick cloth of flesh. Rest, free your mind from the consciousness of a beast of burden. Do not think of your body load, but feel your soul untied from the constant material quality of heaviness. Mentally, race in your fancy airplane above, beneath, left, right, or in, in infinity, or wherever you want to go, Feel and meditate on this, your mental freedom, freedom from your body. Dream, dwell, and feel this body aboveness. When sitting still, the consciousness of freedom will constantly increase. So what that basically means is that we hold things in our body. So we might feel this physical body and we experience emotions like anxiety. There is a physiological side to your emotional response. There is the external thing that's going on that's maybe influencing how you're feeling but there are literally physiological feelings that are going on inside your body a, a cluster of which you might label as anxiety a cluster of which you might label as the feeling chillaxed you know all of these lovely emotions that we came to today you would be able to describe to me my dog may be about to bark he's just standing there in this like pose so yeah <laughs> there we go <laughs> 
rid of the pigeon now. Well done. Um, so we have these this, the physiological uh, side of the coin in terms of what is going on inside your body. You know, um, but these are sort of your biochemistry and literally the words that we use can change our biochemistry. So if we are constantly using the words, I am anxious or I'm feeling anxiety, then we start to label and our biochemistry um, will, will adapt to that accordingly. If we start using different words, it's like we could label anxiety as excitement, for example. They have a lot of the similar symptoms. I'm just using that as an example. You know, so we could start to rewire and reframe things like a physiological feeling of anxiety as either excitement or, or motivation to take control, you know? So it's really about being mindful about our language and how that affects our biochemistry, but recognizing why this relates to this metaphysical meditation is that these are things that are going on inside this, this meat suit that we wear and that actually you are beyond all that. You're beyond all your thoughts. You are this infinite consciousness that exists you know, beyond your body. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to play with just coming out of the body and literally kind of leaving this meat suit and taking a little trip up into this infinite consciousness where you can experience that feeling of I am. It is beyond polarities. It's beyond thoughts. It's beyond your emotions that you're feeling physiologically. And in doing so, just experience more of the higher vibe vibrations and the high vibe feelings that we get from doing that. So with that, if I can ask you to turn off your cameras and I shall do the same and bring yourself into your space for meditation, start to feather your nest. And as always, just begin by taking a nice, long, slow, deep breath in through the nose, into the belly, feeling the belly expand and inflate. And then gently letting it go out the mouth with a sigh. And again, in through the nose, nice, long, slow, deep breath into the belly. And then exhale, let it go out the mouth. And one more time, nice, long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. And just exhale, let it out through the mouth. And just resealing the lips, allowing your breath to return to its normal rhythm. I just want you to do a gentle scan of your body and just start to loosen the muscles. So loosening your jaw, loosening your shoulders, allowing your tongue to just rest in the bottom of your mouth, relaxing your eyelids so that your eyeballs feel like they're floating in the sockets. Maybe just noticing if you can relax your hands, maybe placing them either face down on your knees to ground or face up to receive, or you can place them in your lap, whichever position feels most nurturing to you. The important thing is to be comfortable. Comfort is queen. So to help us relax and come into this present moment, we're just going to use triangle breathing. So imagining an upside down triangle out in front of you. And we're going to inhale up the left side, a count of three, four or five, whichever is most nourishing for you, holding the breath at the top, and then exhaling down the right side of the triangle, and then repeating the process. So I'll do a count of five, but if you want to, you can do a count of three or a count of four. Just listen to your body. But let's begin together. So inhaling through the nostrils for one, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Four, three, two. One, 
Good. And again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And again, inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And just keep that going in your own rhythm. Just controlling the inhale. Keeping the breath inside. And then controlling the exhale nice and slow. The key to your relaxation is in your exhalation. So whatever count you do, whether it's an inhaling, inhaling for three, four, or five, just keep going. We'll do this for a couple of minutes. Relaxing the mind. Balancing out the brain, just slowing everything down. your breath at the top. And exhale. Coming into your last round now. And the next time you exhale, just relax. And let your breath return to its normal rhythm. Just keep breathing in and out through your nose and just noticing any changes in your body. Noticing if you've moved the needle, feeling more relaxed, feeling more balanced, feeling more present in your body, present in this moment. Let's relax the body even further. So just starting from the top of your head. What I'd love you to do is just to relax and skin on your head, scalp. Maybe you can almost imagine relaxing each and every one of your hair follicles from front to back. Like a shower of relaxation spreading across your head. Coming down your head now, going down to your shoulders. Relax your shoulders and the shoulder blades. Just let go of any tension. Relaxing the muscles in the neck area, in the shoulders. And take that awareness down your arms towards your elbows, relaxing the biceps and triceps as you go. And you can go down the forearms towards the wrists. Your mind's eye relaxing your wrist. And the fingers on both hands. And you can feel that both arms, both hands 
all your fingers are now completely relaxed. Just let go of any tension. Breathing in and out, sinking deeper and deeper. Your awareness now to your chest. Relaxing your chest. Relaxing your upper back. Start to bring this awareness now down your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Starting with your upper back, down. Coming down into your middle torso as you relax your belly. Relaxing any organs in your belly. Just asking the trillions of cells that exist in your body to just relax, let go. Asking the joints to relax. As you exhale, just relax a little further with each exhale. Bringing this awareness now down towards your lower back, your hips. Feeling the contact you have with the seat that you're sitting on, your chair. Just asking your hips to relax, relaxing your tailbone, and then start to relax your legs. So go down the thighs towards your knees, and then from your knees down to your shins, and from your shins down to your feet. Relaxing each and every one of your beautiful toes. Deep in the soles of your feet. Until you can feel now that your left and right leg and your torso are now completely relaxed. Just imagine every muscle in your body now is just sinking and melting into the floor. And I just invite you to relax and surrender let go for a moment, you're completely safe, you're free, just sink deeper and deeper into that safety. If your mind has begun to wander, it's okay, your mind is a thinking machine. Just smile and be happy that you've noticed and just bring your attention back to your breath. Maybe take a deep breath. Again, just let every muscle in your body relax, loosen all the joints. bring this awareness just bring it up to your face relaxing all the muscles on your face once again maybe noticing if you tensed your jaw just a little bit so just relaxing your jaw relaxing your lips your cheeks relaxing your eyes and just feel how relaxed they are Relaxing your muscles on your forehead. And keeping your eyes closed, can you look up to the center in between your eyebrows? 
looking up towards your third eye, your Ajna Chakra, your center of intuition, it lives in the center of your eyebrows. And just in your mind's eye, using the power of your imagination, just imagine opening up your third eye. And imagine a very bright light shining in. Just take a moment to channel this light consciousness that you can receive in through your third eye. There's no wrong way to do this. Just inhale through your nose, exhale, let go and just channel that light for a moment. mind is wandering into a story or a thought or an emotion and that's okay just really gently let that thought or that story just float past like a cloud floating in the sky just let it float past your mind and just very gently breathe and focus on this light that you're channeling into your forehead into your body this really bright white light just receive this consciousness and relax. Your third eye is this gateway to a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of being. It helps you to connect to your higher self. So just breathing in and breathing out. Again, just connecting in and imagining this light beaming into your forehead, connecting to every cell in your body and just feel the aliveness as it comes in. Feel that life. Amazing. So what I invite you to do now is, can you leave your body where it is? Can you take your awareness, your mind, out of your third eye, up towards the sky? To do that, all you need to do is imagine now that you're floating up from where you're sat, up towards the ceiling of the room that you're in, floating out of your house, towards the white fluffy clouds, towards the clear blue sky. Maybe you're looking down now and you can see your house from above as if you're looking at it on Google Maps. You can see your street, your garden. And just keep imagining you're floating up and up and up towards the clouds, going higher and higher in the sky. Until now, you can see your city, your town, your village, but you keep going higher until you can see your county. Keep going up, imagine seeing your country as if you're looking at it on Google Earth. Keep floating, keep going higher. Till now you can see that you're leaving Earth's atmosphere. You can see the curve of the Earth. You're now weightless. You're simply floating in space. You're going higher and higher going further out into the solar system. We're looking down at the Earth. First, it's the size of a football and a golf ball. Now the Earth is almost a grain of sand. Keep floating, keep going, keep going. Now the Earth completely disappears because you're so deep in space. You're floating past different galaxies, different solar systems. Just imagine now that your awareness is so deep out in space. You just completely surrender, just let go and just breathe. Just imagine that you're floating weightless in space.
just remember there is space, there is no voice, there is no ego. You are not your name, you are not your body. You are the entire universe, the presence, power, peace. You are all of it. You are a part of it and it is a part of you. The same life force that creates the mountains, stars, runs through your veins. You are the essence of this. So just inhale and exhale, imagining that you're floating in space completely free. You're bigger than any of the stories in your head, any of the problems that you're facing. You're bigger than the faults and the emotions that come up in your body. Your human may always experience them, but remember that you are bigger than them, are the entire universe. You are a unique expression of oneness. Just keep imagining that you're floating in space and if things come up, that's okay. It just gives you an opportunity to grow and expand your consciousness. Just remember, I am the universe. I'm floating in space. As much as I might be down here on Earth. And for a good few minutes, I'd really just like you to expand and shift your consciousness. You're shifting your consciousness right now. You're separating from this illusion of the ego. But we can become this one unity again. So... As you continue to inhale and exhale, just floating in space, with a blank, empty mind, just enter this emptiness. Just let go. Just free, be free and connected to this cosmic consciousness. Let go of who you think you are. Let go of who you think you need to be. Just be free. Let go of your physical form. Just merge into this universe and be free.
if in the future you find yourself getting frustrated or your mind is getting restless, you can use this practice to zoom out and visualize the blue dot called Earth. Keep practicing zooming out, looking around at the whole galaxy, being completely free, just like you are now. Stepping outside of your body, outside of your name, and the roles that you play, and enter into this emptiness, this everything that's all around you, this cosmic consciousness, this power that is at your fingertips, always. So I'd like to invite you now Start bringing that awareness, that consciousness back down towards Earth, towards home. Just imagine that you're coming back past all the galaxies, coming back into our solar system, into this galaxy. Bringing your awareness closer and closer to that small dot called Earth, planet Earth. So imagine you're coming closer and closer. The Earth is now getting bigger and bigger. Start to see it in the distance as a grain of sand. Now as a golf ball. Now as a football. Now we're starting to enter its atmosphere through the curvature of the Earth. We're coming through the clouds now and you start to see your country start to see your city, your town, your village, getting closer and closer and you see your house getting closer and closer. I invite you now to just imagine, take that awareness, keeping your eyes closed, just imagine that this consciousness now is coming down, this presence is sitting in front of you. It's looking at you. Your eyes are closed, but you are looking at yourself from the witness. Just feel how this awareness, this consciousness is so happy and proud of you. And it absolutely loves you unconditionally. There's this deep joy, this pure buzz, and it's so excited to get back in, inside your body for this adventure called life that we live out in our human bodies. So when you're ready, I'd love for you to just imagine bringing that awareness now in through your forehead, through your third eye, into your head, as your consciousness comes back in and connects to your brain, but it's coming from that place of emptiness, bringing back that vastness, that infinite potential that you felt in space. Just bring that into your mind and imagine the sensation of floating in space when you zoom out is now inside of your head now. Every neuron inside your brain is a star in the galaxy. Just notice that freedom inside of your head. Then as best you can, send that signal, that aliveness around your whole body. Feel it in your body. Feel the universe, the power that is inside of you. Just feel this. Feel the aliveness. Feel the infinite potential, the expansion. And just send that power, that awareness, all around your body and into your heart space. And just breathe in and out of your heart. Feel the love energy, the compassion and the peace inside of you. Remember the goodness inside of you. Take your focus and your awareness to the heart space and receive and welcome that peace. And from that space of just love and freedom in your heart, just imagine that light just blasts out into the universe from your heart, from your chest, like a huge ray of light. Just blast out that love, that peace and that presence and all that freedom that you felt. Just send it out, share it around the world. Think of all the people that you love and cherish the most. Send them this level of consciousness so that they too can awaken. 
May they be free from their suffering. Send them this love and this awareness that they can wake up so they can feel this level of peace and love this is what we all want. Send that love to your friends, to your family. Change your biochemistry. Send that awareness to your friends and your family and just set that intention. Just let it go. You can't change anyone. You just send out that intention, that vibration to raise consciousness and let it go from your heart. Blast that love out. Just send that energy out, a beautiful loving intention out there, that peace, that freedom, back out into the universe and just blast it out to anyone you can think of. And then when you're ready, knowing that you have shifted your biochemistry, knowing that you will be getting up from this meditation a different person from that that you sat down, just slowly start to bring your awareness back into this moment, into this body, right here, right now. Just starting to tune into the sounds in your environment. Just feel that presence. Just gently bringing movement back into your body, bringing your hands up and overhead. Just doing a gentle stretch. And then bring your hands down through the heart, through the center line, down through your heart space. And just bowing in gratitude to yourself, your higher self, the one that is connected to all that is. Aham I am all that was, I am all that is, I am all that will ever be. seal this meditation we will chant together om hymn of the universe just once a nice deep breath in for om Just be still and feel that presence that you felt in your mind. Feel that stillness, that presence with open eyes as you look around you for a few moments. Be grabbing a pen and a piece of paper, maybe writing down any experiences or any downloads that you want to capture from today's session. And then we'll just use the remaining minutes to come back together, share our experiences, to share what was beautiful, to share what was challenging, understand each other. If anybody would like to begin, feel free to switch your cameras back on. Namaste. Namaste.